Hello Virgo, welcome to your love reading. For this love reading, the question that I'm going to ask to the mug is the following question. How does my relationship look through the eyes of my loved person? Well, let's see how this person sees your relationship. Well, Virgo, first of all, your um, love person is watching over your shoulder at a gift, at an accomplishment that you are receiving from a friend. There's a friend offering you something and your love person is like sneaking behind you and um, taking a peek at this gift that you are receiving. The name of your loved person may start with a C. Um, the issue is that I don't see this person as being in a very beautiful energy. I see this person as um, an, interp an interpretation of the devil from the tarot deck. Um, this person may have addiction issues or... Um, a very controlling manipulative energy or uh, this person is very jealous very possessive um, yeah and this person has an issue with the fact that you are receiving such a beautiful gift from this friend And the thing is that this friend comes from um, comes towards you with this gift from um, not from but being guided by the divinity. This friend is offering you something because this was meant to be. Also. It seems like this friend of yours is lighting like a, a lantern and kinds of kind of shows you the way to something and people are shocked that this person is giving you people around you are shocked that this this person is giving you such a gift and light and guidance and your loved person is jealous is is like whoa and, but it's not jealous, like, um, not making a scandal, not um, expressing uh, his or her thoughts officially. Just being jealous in secret uh, and not saying anything, but just spying on you all the time. This, this uh, your loved person is, is um, talking to someone. This person is poisoning this person with some ill thoughts and some stupid stupid ideas maybe someone is like i'm giving you an example this person this this friend is helping you a lot and is offering you offering you this divine gift uh and they're like ah oh, are you sure this person that is trying to poison the mind of your loved person don't you see it may be it must be something between them nobody helps you for free it's impossible and your person is like yield and very 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 jealous towards your house first of all uh, your person wants to travel but it's just a plan i don't see excuse me <clears throat> i don't see this as manifesting it's just planning to travel um in your house uh, in the house of this person i see of your loved person i see
I see two very faithful friends that he has or she has, two dogs. Uh, and a third energy is, um, is a woman. I feel this energy as being a woman energy. Um, not necessarily, but I feel it as being a woman energy that comes towards this, this person with love. Either are, this is romantic love or this is, a, I don't know, maybe a sister, a mother, a very good friend that really, really genuinely loves this, uh, this person. This person shows up here like gaining very small amounts of money, but constantly, uh, but also uh, again as something is covering the mouth and the ear of your loved person. Some Someone is trying to poison the mind of this person. And this person is letting this happen. You you think about your loved person, then you want achievements with you with uh, and accomplishments with this loved person. That, but this person doesn't doesn't react how it should be, because there is this thing poisoning his or her mind. This person trying to poison his or her mind. Um, I see your love person in a very low vibration. And I don't see this person as going in the right direction. This is the issue. Um, maybe this person, it's, it's so manipulative and so destructive with the mind of this person that this person doesn't have no power to fight whatever this person is telling him or her um yeah it's in low vibration this this person looks like it's sick Uh, and also I see like, I see your loved person thinking about someone that passed away. Yeah, your loved person is thinking a lot about someone who passed away. And on, under the symbol of the grave, I see um, I see a name, Bob. It may only resonate with one person in the whole world, this, but I have to say it. I see this, this uh, gravestone, and under this gravestone, there is this, this name, Bob. And your loved person will think about this per this this person that passed away a lot. Towards the future. Towards the future, I see you with your love person. Um, but <clears throat> there's still that energy interfering between you two. I feel like whoever is manipulating your love person has such a strong capacity of working with energies. Because 
I see this person communicating with your loved person through the crown chakra. It's like pouring energy and subliminal thoughts into the, the head of this person. And yeah, your loved person is walking side by side with you. You'll be together in 3.3 days, 3 weeks, a day of 3. But for some of you, I actually see you getting married. For others of you, I see this person trying to manipulate, to continue to manipulate your loved person. And your loved person actually awakens from the spiritual point of view and has an enlightenment moment. And that's the moment when you will get married. Yeah, you two together will have very good financial stability. But I don't see I don't see how this is going to work. You are very open, very energetically clear, but this person looks very controlled and very manipulated. Either this person awakes in a certain moment, as I said, and you will get married, or you will marry someone who continues to be manipulated and the third energy will always be between you. I'm not saying this third energy is another woman or another man. I'm saying this may be uh, a mother, a father, a relative, a friend, uh, someone who has something against you or not necessarily something against you, but an overprotective energy towards your loved person. Yeah, you show up together over and over again, but then always, always shows this, this, this third energy shows besides you too. So be careful. Your love person is in low energy, low, way lower than yours. And, uh, You are in good energy, in good vibration. You're trying really hard to be successful. Uh, but this person is jealous, is envious, is insecure, uh, is manipulated. It, I don't know what to say. We'll see in our next love reading. Maybe we'll catch the same energy. For the moment, this is all I have for you, beautiful people. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope it helped you. Uh, the purpose of um, energy readings is um, to see how is the, the vibration for the moment and give you the chance to change your vibration. As long as you work hard to change your vibration, you can change the outcome. So, uh, if you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll be waiting for you for our next reading. Goodbye. <laughs>